Sound check. <laughs> I need to be faster than the visualization. The audio. Hi, I'm the Magpie. Today, I'm gonna check out this one that just arrived today. So I really enjoyed the switch that it has over here because it's like a plastic, weird looking. Wait, I don't know why that stuck in my mind, but it did. Uh, this is the Elsita, I think, by RMIF. It's a drum machine from former Soviet, so that's kind of cool. I'm not 100% sure of the year that it came out. I don't think it matters. It's cheap if you compare it with other vintage drum machines. It's also very simple, very straightforward, which for me is fucking perfect. I really like that. The text is in Russian, I guess. I don't know how to read that at all, but I don't have to. That's how simple it is. I understand it straight away. I tried it out and we're gonna try it out now as well. So I'm gonna show you how simple it is. Uh, it's got a met pohon and you can go from that to 300 so that's really cool and also one over there master volume so this is the same label on all of these meaning that's volume that's 300 and then you you only get number one or you get one plus two you don't get three and four on metronome in this case but I think that's to use it like a metronome, is my guess. So we have a bunch of labels, we can do only one as metronome. Great! Now we can listen to number one, and at the same time I can go through stuff. No <laughs> example to start with. Uh, doesn't matter. I think all of these four are the same. Analog. Yay! 808. We need to talk about that as well. This one, whenever you read about it online, it's compared to the 808 which I think is pretty funny. Like, is this the USSR equivalent of the Roland 808? They're from the same era. They're both analog drum machines. This one doesn't have the sequencer. It's got a metronome though. So I mean... Cool transition. Finished filming, sitting down. It's like a shit version of this one. Not an 808 that Alex Ball just posted. Simmons SDS3. An analog drum synthesizer with four channels for sounds and a fifth channel labeled special effects. Ship version of this. Yes. That's what it should stand on, stay on like. Oh, you see that? Oh, it's like a shit version of this. Every website should say. Perfect. They even look sort of similar. Video link. But it has trigger in on the other side for each of these four. So we're gonna play with Arturia Beatstep Pro and make beats with it, with those trigger ins. Super simple to use like that. Fucking perfect uh, with something as modern as the Beatstep. But let's go through some of this first and then we're gonna see if we can make 808 with it. This is a pitch knob. This is like an envelope, super short. Yeah, so that's like glide up and down, I think, in my mind it is. Uh, this is like a fade knob between either, uh, it's easier to hear in this mode. So here we have noise. This is like a filter knob. So you have that in this one as well. But it doesn't really, you can't really hear it right now. But on noise you can hear it. So now this one can fade between the noise and the tone. And in the other mode, it's like a click. But it's a very small click. I don't know why. But it is like that on the first one. It's not really like that on the, the other ones. So I think maybe some components are old or something. 
I don't know. Me don't give a fuck. Uh, you don't always have to have the first one as the kick drum. Just saying. That's just something that is programmed inside of us. To have number one as a kick drum. Two as a snare drum. Three as a hi-hat. And four as maybe an open hi-hat. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the second one as a kick drum maybe. Or the third one. The first one at super random. And then maybe something else. I don't know. We have four voices to work with. So it's kind of limited like that. But you can do a lot with all of them. Because all of them have these same parameters. As I sort of showed you on the first one. Uh, so the possible sounds. Quite a lot. The reason to why I'm standing here. Where I don't usually stand in videos. Is because I'm going to turn on. Uh... Wow you're already turned on. Huh, nice. Because why not. Let's have a yam going. Wow, got a tiny bit of a tone behind it, even with only noise. You know me and my music, I love a weak snare, like a tiny snare. There's something magical about that, I don't really know what it is. We have a click. I like that. It's not 808 sounding at all. The cowbell is always awful in drum machines. This is sort of one of those cowbell sounds, but it's a-okay. <laughs> let's start with this. We're gonna fuck with it some more, so. But let's get uh, some sounds going here, just for the sake of context. This just showed up today. It's a chord V2 from Qubit, so that's also nice. It's a good day today. We got this going now. Looks crazier than it is. It's not that crazy. That's just your rack for you, I guess. It's also sort of drifting a bit away from each other, that one and that one. Because they're no longer synced. I just put that one in the same BPM as that one. It's happy, magpie -esque. Would you like to do something with this? I can upload all of the files for people to fuck with. Join the Discord. I'm also gonna do a sample pack with this one. So, make sure to become a Patreon to get the Elzita sample pack. The cheap USSR 808. Um, let's mute this. I kinda like it as a drum machine. I definitely feel like uh, it could have been better, but I mean, uh, there's what did I expect? Not much. The snare sounds that you can get out of it are super weak, but I like it a lot for what it is. The kick drum, however, takes some, but I mean, it sounds good now. As soon as you put a bass behind it. But with some of the tone, it's not very nice. Like that, kinda nice, like that. Using number one as a hi-hat, and then engaging the metronome, maybe it's kinda fun. Cause you get like double hits. Yeah. 
Good, cheap-ish alternative to a vintage drum machine. Like vintage drum machine. Why is that such a big deal? There's a ton of modern uh, alternatives, but this one costs about as much as modern alternatives. Yeah, don't think so. Um, Nostrovie. I guess so I'm not gonna recommend it, but I'm not not gonna recommend it either. It looks really cool uh, It's pretty big, but the space between the notes. It's uh, really nice. Uh, I don't care either uh, It was fun. Have fun See you on the other side of fun Have a great night But the weekend is more like a same manger. Good times.